Hi there, welcome to another video. Um, today I'm talking about the Bose Wave music systems. So I'm just going to quickly go over this, um, why I'm presenting this. So the reason is that I'm a great fan of Bose Wave systems myself and uh, amongst the years I've come across different models that Bose have made and they pretty much sound the same all of them I would like to think. Um, and so basically what we have here is we've got the Bose Wave Music System 2 which was the uh, <coughs> the second version of the Wave Music System. The first one was the top loader and um, that had the buttons on top but um, that went out of date quite a while ago now so the main one that that is circulating at the moment um, you can purchase them from eBay mainly are the Bose Music System 2 on the middle here I have the latest one which is the Bose Music System 4 that's the most recent one and then we have the on the left here we have the Bose Music System Wave 3 which also is um, part of the music system family. So what we have here is the Bose Music System 2 comes with a CD player and a AM and FM radio and it also has the capability of attaching a Bose Music System uh, wave CD changer module and also you can attach a DAB module as well by using the um, Bose link here, where are we? If I can just show that, yeah, there. So this section, this piece here, um, would allow you to attach an accessory to the system via using the um, power outlet, and the extension would go into this um, in socket here which would then allow you to play the CD changer or the Wave DAB module. If we look at the um, Wave Music System 3, this particular one has the DAB module built in, but it doesn't have a CD changer capability, nor and it doesn't actually support one which is um, readily available everywhere at the moment the only CD changer that will support is the one which says V2 at the bottom which is um, the later model they released um, which are not really readily available at the moment and Bose don't supply them either so if you look at the back of this one this was a damage in transit so if you see here it has a additional port for the DAB module antenna, just the antenna, because it doesn't need the module itself, it just has a DAB antenna, and the rest of the ports are exactly the same, which is the Bose Link, which you can add the change at a later model, or we can add the um, iPod connector or something, and also we have the auxiliary out, or in, and the headphones, and the FM antenna, which is um, normal on all of them. And this is the um, the additional functions on this particular unit is that they've put a um, a touch on and off button from the top. Not sure why you would need that because you can just turn it on and then it wouldn't do anything else. Just turns it on and off. Uh, that's the only difference between the two and the three is how the DAB module built in and the touch on and off capability. The remote looks pretty much identical if you see them both. So this is the um, 3 and that's the 2. The buttons are the same, everything is exactly the same other than the fact that it gives you the DAB capability built into the Mott radio. And we'll go into a little bit more detail in a minute. And then we have the Wave 4 which is the later model of all of those. And as you can see the remotes are all the same size yet they have just made a slight difference in the design to make it different and the keypad instead of um, a plain plasticky one this has got a rubber feel to it so it feels slightly better and um, the unit itself again the same design it looks the same it, this particular one which is the Wave 4 has the capability of DAB touch on and off black mesh grill for the speakers it doesn't have the lines and the display seems to come blue, which I thought would be quite, which quite nice. 
because it's blue and it's different. And the, at the back, if you see here, the two wave two and four. Uh, sorry, the wave three and four are exactly the same. So you've got the DAB antenna, the FM antenna, Bose link, auxiliary in, and headphones out. So let's put them side by side and let's have a peek at the difference. So that's the three over right there, that's the four. And if we just turn it around and match it up, and that's the wave two. So as you can see, the Wave 2 is the earlier model, has less options because it doesn't have the DAB module built in. The other ones, which is the 3 and 4, are pretty much identical in terms of the options they give you to use the radio and it also has a touch on and off from the top. So I'm thinking um, the 2 model and the Wave 3 have green display which was quite popular at the time uh, when they were released and this particular model here they've changed the display to blue so when I bought this I thought well this is quite good because they must have you know redone the entire um, design from inside and changed everything so that would give us um, an improved sound and display and everything else but um, when you go inside these units and believe it or not they're pretty much the same they have changed the chassis which is this particular unit here but the inside is uh, very similar to each other there are differences in the board obviously with the, the two and the four but the differences from inside from the three and the four I can't see any other than the fact that it's got aesthetic change from the top so um, let me show you how it works so you, you know what I mean. So if we just plug that in at the back here and you can see that it's got a blue display and it says please wait and it goes on to a different radio. Within a minute or two it will start displaying. Here we go. It, what it does is scans the channel make sure that it's got the good reception and then it starts playing mm, in its own time of course let's see if we can play anything else Maybe not. We may have um, poor reception where I am here in this area. But it, yeah, there we go. It's working now. So it, it takes its time once it's configured all the channels. I believe that. Here we go. See that? Yeah. So once it knows and it scans all the channels, which it does in the background when you first plug it in. So this is wave 4, which is the most recent one. Now if we just unplug this and go to wave 2, or 3, oh, I beg your pardon. You can see it's green. Flashing again, please wait. And we turn it on, it says no disc. Once again it says digital radio. And it would then ask to... Scan the channels. That's FM. And then if you give it a minute, it should switch over to the DAB radio. If it can. These units can be a bit temperamental at times. But as you see the first the fourth one had the same problem as well, which was slight delay in them. Well, this one seems to be frozen right now. I think it's scanning again. Hi there, sorry, it was a slight hiccup at my end, and the battery on the remote seemed to be weak, so I just replaced that. So, because they are very much remote dependent, they don't 
function without the remote remote um, being present so I had to just put the new batteries in as you can see this is now it's changing the um, channels from DAB to one to another it's pretty much the same as the um, one that we had in it it gives you the choice and the classic FM there we go so anyway let's to get to the bottom of this so this is wave system 3 again if you touch it it goes off if you touch it it comes on that's that's the function and it's DAB and it will play CDs like any other and now and it's got a green display as you can see now last but not least if I was to now move this one around to make sure that we've got enough wires length here if we plug this one in which is the way you can system 2 again these units are old and um, they're only for demonstration purposes I'm actually showing you these they are slightly damaged as well so if we just turn this one on and just there we go this one, is just, this one just gives you radio that's it and a CD, AM, FM, radio, and you can play CD on this. So you can see that, that it only does. AM, FM, radio, and a CD player. So now, if we see what's actually bringing these um, models to us in a different way, apart from the display, so if we're going to, if we just actually open this particular one up, which is one of the very most popular ones I have here. Let me show you. Let's set this camera up properly, and we can set this up now. There we go. My videos are normally quite raw. I don't really do much editing, so I, I just show them as things are. So this is the version two. And if we open this up, you can see that it's got the um, the housing of the acoustic of the uh, the speakers, two speakers here, uh, the display panel, the main transform at the back, the heat sink for the audio chip, the capacitor, and the module there. Now, if we just disengage those from the back there, we lift it gently. Now this is the ribbon that is connecting the display so all we got to do is just take it and pull it out push this at the back and maybe want to move these speaker cables on the side so they're not pulling that much and that would help they are pretty old so you can see that they're all kind of perishing away here's a CD mechanism of the version 2 now if you lift this gently you can see that we've got the uh, the board there and the cable and uh, pretty much that's the uh, audio board for the CD player and the display of course so this is model 2 now keep that in mind have a look and now we're gonna sort of go through model 3 which is exactly next to it. Here we are. Let's remove that. Model three. This clip here is the is the piece that actually allows the touch on and off. So if you see underneath here, there is a contact um, sort of material attached to it, which then connects to the pin here, and that allows the touch on and off to operate. I don't know who thought of that, but uh, yeah, that was just a new addition to the unit. Now, if, if you look at this here from the top, which is the Model 3, and let me just bring that one back in its original form so you can see what I mean without going through anything down there. Right, now if you see, here's the 3, here's the 2. If you see the acoustic model of this the model of this is identical display very similar other than the fact that they have put in 
they've just covered these this piece up with black uh, glass but the panel looks pretty the same but they've just attached this here and um, maybe minor differences but as far as the display is concerned it's, it's identical it will display the same as well so this is the two you can see that it comes on green oh sorry this is the three and the two which I can then plug in as I said to you earlier then you can just pull it out and the display can just go back in straight away not a problem and that's green and if you see number two without the unit that display is green as well so two and wave three similar in terms of its design um, so obviously the question arises well why would I want to buy three just for the touch and if you want the DAB um, addition in, in your radio then definitely go for that and we can stack this up on top of each other now this one here is the most recent one they've made now let's have a look what's inside this one so we've opened it up you can see the glass is blue and if we put the four and the three side by side you should be able to see that there isn't a great deal of a difference in fact I can even put them all side by side so without the case on I don't think from distance you can actually tell which one's two and which one's three um, because um, no I, I mean which one's three and which one's four Sorry. yeah that's three and that's four and two just doesn't have that clip on so what else is different in four that would that would make me spend maybe another couple of hundred pounds other than the fact that the display is blue now surprise surprise if we plug that in this is this is wave four the display is green it's not blue what they have done is this created a new shell which in order to change the display and then you put that on top it goes blue very clever and when you change take that out it goes back to green again here we are and that was when I was 16 and, and same if we put the wave 3 cover on wave 4 here we go fits in as you can see it goes green and this is wave three cover on a wave four radio. There we go. Remove that. Now, if we put a wave two cover on a wave four radio, here we go. Now it's a wave two from outside and wave four from inside. And you can remove that. And if you want to make this back to number four, you just change the cover and it goes back to wave four which is here now it makes me wonder what has it changed so much but if you look at once again the design of this there's not really the, the acoustic of it is exactly the same as, as wave 3 and 2 so if you lift this up you can see once again we've got the ribbon you can pull that out have a look obviously things are a bit more fresh in this because it's a new model we've got the same CD changer here and we have the uh, same audio board and and everything else now can, could we actually replace a part from say four to a three maybe um, if you look inside here, I will actually have a look at this one. I haven't opened it yet, but here we are now. If you see wave two, sorry, wave three and wave four next to each other, they're, they're identical. Absolutely, even the inside is very similar to 
in terms of its design and everything there the boards are identical as well because they both have DAB chips in them So this board here is the DAB and this board here is the DAB module which is built inside these the version 2 doesn't have this uh, so that's the only downside that that's the problem but otherwise it is identical um, in terms of how it displays now if um, if someone has a faulty version 4 and they don't want to repair it they can always you know compromise and make it um, a version 3 from inside and and it will still look like a version 4 from outside it's just one of those things uh, depending I mean version 4s are still being serviced right now it's the version 2s that are out of date right now so which, which, which are not in, in service anymore but if you if we just experience and experiment from what's different inside these units I wouldn't think that there is a um, great deal different other than the fact that the casing is different and maybe slightly um, in the spec of the output which I, I I'm not going to display right now because I'm just you know measuring the aesthetics of the unit itself to just show that if something does go wrong how could we actually uh, replace the parts to bring one back to life again um, instead of just going back to the same old unit so um, yeah uh, also we have the um, the DAB module this is what the DAB module looks like and this is for the wave, Bose Wave version 2 and what it does is that connector connects at the back of the version 2 which enhances the unit to to to, dis, to um, deliver DAB audio on the unit itself. So if we were to, as an experiment, change, say for example, the CD tray from this unit to the other one and see how that goes, uh, that would be quite interesting to see um, if, if it is exactly the same and would it recognize the older unit to the newer one or even if we put a wave 2 CD tray into a wave 4 and see if it actually recognizes that so um, give us a minute and I shall just do that now right I have um, just changed the um, unit right now and um, the CD changer sorry the CD tray from 2 is in from 3 is in 4 and 4 is in 3 and let's see if it actually works first thing first it will go through the please wait section and then if we put that in let's see if it actually plays Maybe we have, you might want to, it does play, I think, by looking at it. But it's finding it hard to recognize. So there's definitely something different in that CD changer. It does play. I think it may need a bit of a lens clean. Yep. So as you can see, it is playing. Right, great. So we've got success in terms of the CD tray is accepted by the three from the four. Let's see if four recognizes the tray from CD. Number three. Let's please wait. It puts it in. Let's see if it works. If it does, you've got 100% success. Yep. So as you can see, yep, it's working perfectly now. Yep. I'm not going to play anything because I know the, um, the YouTube actually picks it up quite away straight away and try to monetize it. So here we are. Brilliant. So what we've proven 
right now is that the components between the two um, Bose Wave family are very com similar to each other and they are compatible between each other as well. So if you have a Bose Wave 4, um, I don't see that just because of a blue display you would want to spend hundreds of pounds more um, unless you already obviously want to change that what a lot of uh, what, what, what some of or only few of the people have done is actually they have sprayed these units and they've um, changed the color to, to whatever color they like and you can do that so you can take the casing and literally you could if you wanted to you can actually spray these casings so it looks really nice um, the, the display is really easy to take off so you just clip it off and it comes off tape that piece up and you can spray the unit and give it a fresh look whatever color you want to um, to make it work otherwise they're pretty straightforward to put in and out usually they are hmm there we go that's all in so that's version 3 here on my left and in the middle that was version 4 they are identical to you know how they you know look and feel and even I would put number 2 in, in the ring as well and ask that this is also very similar now you can pick up a number 2 version 2 from about eBay for 180, 150 pounds, right? Then if you move over to version 3, which has got a built-in DAB module, you can pick this up from eBay for around about 200 mark, 220, maybe 230. In a good condition, it goes up to 250. Whereas this particular one, which is the Bose Music System 4, it goes around about 380 to 400. And from Bose, maybe it would be in a, in a quite a high price bracket and it's a it's a current model so they would obviously ask for the uh, the premium price for that now if you see now if we put these all stack them up one by one and you see that they are very similar in size well in fact they're identical so you can see here we are we've got the two the three and the four and from inside, uh, like any other, they are the same. Uh, the sound, I would say, obviously because one is newer than the other, you'd probably notice um, maybe slightly very minor difference. But to be honest with you, when you look at the wattage, uh, no, uh, I, I don't remember anybody who plays these radios to full maximum volume anyway. Therefore, light pleasure listening. You place them in the kitchen or the or your room or your bedside table, and they play. And it also has a clock in it, so you can have an alarm. Now, one thing I like to also mention is I'm going to bring something in this family, which is called a CD changer. These were released with Bose Music System 2. So what used to happen is that people used to buy them and install this like that and add a extra layer of changer which gives you um, CD changing capabilities for music system 2. Now when Bose released the third version of Wave which was this one here um, a lot of owners that wanted to replace these units they always had the change well some of the owners had the changes and they were like well if we change it can we actually have a set you know the same changer so Bose actually updated the um, uh, circuit inside these changes on version 2. Now how do you know this is version 2? It's quite easy. You look at the back and at the back of it you'll notice there would be, um, it will say V2 on it here at the back of the unit and if it says V2 that means that will now play on this particular unit here. And um, they have also said that the V2 might work on these units as well, which is the version 4. And surprise, surprise, that's the reason for that is because these two are identical from inside. So um, I think this is quite a good piece of information to, to have if, um, 
you, you feel that you have a problem with your wave system or you want to upgrade to another system and then decide why am I going to upgrade it, what capabilities do I get. Now this particular version which is version 4 comes with uh, an accessory which is a Bluetooth and Wi-Fi tray so you get rid of the the um, changer and you add a Bluetooth and Wi-Fi tray underneath which is about 100 pounds and that would enhance you to play wirelessly if you wish um, alternatively you can attach Alexa to these directly at the back from the auxiliary port and then that would give you the capability of using Alexa via your uh, wave music system without adding any more accessories at all so um, thank you for watching I hope this was a good inf informative video for all the owners of those wave music systems and I am very glad to tell everybody that um, there are very um, there, there are there is a lot of some similarities between the two or and the three uh, and the four uh, models of wave so for parts reasons especially it's quite good to know that so we can actually uh, you know make sure that we don't throw these units away but we can still use them one after the other but anyway thanks for watching please do subscribe to my channel and I really appreciate for all the current subscribers that have been watching my channel and um, and clicked on subscribe because um, yeah I have been really busy I will be uploading more videos um, in the coming days of months but uh, I know it's a bit slow but yes I have been busy but, and once again thank you so much and stay tuned bye for now